I shot him. No. Shot through the window. And the front. I'm not sure how long this video will stay on YouTube for, but if it does get taken down, it will be available on the website to view for free. This video comes from Tipton. It occurred at 3 p.m. yesterday, and it was a broad daylight shooting where a vehicle received multiple gunshots, and they also chased a man down to outside a police station and fired more shots. I repeat, they shot at him outside the police station in Tipton. So Scar City outside West Midlands Police Station, Tipton, where I've just spoken to a neighbour who has confirmed that the man was shot at outside the police station. The police shut down this street last night. So there was an initial shooting down the road and then they shot at him at least several times while he was outside this police station. And that is from a verifiable source. I have this confirmed from a neighbour who lived in the local area who witnessed this actually happening as well. A very credible source to confirm that. The video was circulating on social media and I went down to the scene to see what was happening because I thought a broad daylight shootout, it doesn't happen very often anywhere. But the video that I managed to obtain shows a gunman hanging out of the car window, firing shots. One of them hit the back of the car and the other one goes to the windscreen where the driver and the passenger are. They then drive off down Powys Road and lead on to Lower Church Lane and this is where the police station is and the police have confirmed that the second shooting took place on Lower Church Lane but what they haven't said is that it was outside of the police station and I can confirm that 100%. The video shows the recklessness of the behaviour that is being demonstrated and also the fact that onlookers could have been caught in this so it definitely highlights the dangerousness of it and the mainstream media didn't even turn up to the scene. I was literally there alone it was quite ridiculous and this is the second shooting in one week in Tipton and I was only there about a week before due to 20 men fighting in the street and two cannabis factories being discovered the police have said in a statement that nobody has been reported as injured and nobody has been arrested in relation to it. There was at least five shots fired in separate incidents in this involving the same people on February the 4th. So I thought this story was really important to highlight and definitely something that I needed to speak about to make sure that we had the right facts. That's why I went down there to speak to the locals, to go into the shops, to try and find out what the hell is going on because it's our right to understand why something happened. If somebody's being shot at in broad daylight in an attempted murder, it's important and the public do need to know about it. So in relation to the rest of the case, we can't comment because we don't solve cases, we just document them. So if there's any arrests or any progression with this story, I'll definitely keep you updated. But I'm happy that nobody was seriously injured and I definitely advise nobody to demonstrate or reenact anything like this in the future. This is dangerous to people that have nothing to do with the situation you're involved in and also can risk you losing your life or going to prison for the rest of yours. So really appreciate you joining me for this story. I'll be back again with some more news. Don't forget to subscribe to be able to keep up to date with all the latest news and follow on Scar City Studios on social media. Yo, Scar City at the scene in Tipton where there was a full-on shootout yesterday. And uh, a car got shot up and there was a dramatic chase where the man went down this road. Scar City's got the footage exclusively of the shootout and he actually tried to get into the police station. But the police station didn't let him in. So, um, yeah, you can see the car making its way around down this road. Reverses into that drive. I think it was that drive, bro. Uh, and then basically tried to make a way. The car had bullet holes in. Uh, armed police turned up and shut down the whole street as well. So this is the scene the day after. You wouldn't know anything happened, to be honest. You wouldn't know anything happened.